Okay, um, shopping malls on the moon. I just got off the phone, let's say a half an hour ago with um, John Lear. Have you ever heard of uh, Lear Jet? That's his father, he founded the company. And of course, um, jets get you halfway to outer space. So um, John Lear uh, took it upon himself to study uh, what goes on in space, extraterrestrials uh, and what have you. And he's become, uh, certainly in our country, one of the foremost experts on uh, uh, space and life in space. Um, and he's available on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and uh, put search, search for John Lear, uh, you're gonna find out some incredible things. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to put this on anyone. I, I have an expression. This is rips, believe it or not. Okay, so d don't feel like I'm uh, trying to convert you or something. All right, so let me get now to the important part. Um, what John Lear says, and I just spoke with him on the phone, uh, and he explained to me how to confirm this uh, or even get closer to that goal of confirming what I'm about to say, what he's been saying. Uh, what he says is that, uh, uh, and other experts have said this, the, the moon is um, actually um, like Starship Enterprise, a giant spaceship uh, of extraterrestrials uh, housing 30 extraterrestrial species. According to Mr. Lear, um, uh, there are half a billion residents on the moon, uh, obviously extraterrestrial beings some of whom look exactly like us, uh, half a billion. All right, then um, he says that there's uh, cities, and I I'm gonna get to how you can verify or debunk what I'm about to say, so don't, uh, don't forget that. That's the whole reason for this video. I'm gonna tell you how to verify or not, and then you'll be in a race with me, but I wanna get this on record. This is going on public YouTube. And um, so, so where are we here? Uh, there's mountains. Uh, there's there's uh, cities, there's lakes, there's rivers, there's trees. Um, the um, moon's air is barely breathable, according to Mr. Lear, equivalent of our being at 18,000 feet high. It's thin, but breathable. Uh, but they also have dome cities. And now the thing that, of course, caught my attention is he says that there are shopping malls on the moon which are 10 times better than any we have on Earth. And that's why I called him. And he was kind enough to speak with me. And, and now here comes the reason you're watching this video. And, and now you're as up to speed as I am. He says that, um, uh, I said, I need evidence. Uh, he says, all right, YouTube Bruce Seesaw. So on YouTube, you do a search for uh, B-U, sorry, B-R-U-C-E last name Cecil, S-E-E-S-A-L-L. -L. And here's how it works. Mr. Lear just explained this to me on the phone. Um, the moon is, uh, according to him, a hologram. B basically, you figure, let's assume that what I said earlier is true, that it's, the moon is really a um, starship enterprise, but a, a mega spaceship, right? Giant, gigantic, obviously, size of a small planet. Um, housing 30 extraterrestrial races from around the universe. All right, so, but they don't want us to know. We could get into why they don't want us to know, but so they uh, corrupt NASA because they're far more powerful than any of us. And so what we're seeing then when we look at the moon is a hologram. That is a computer re-engineering. It's a fake thing, right? And so Bruce Seesaw has figured out how that is done. And he's able to penetrate the hologram. Um, everyone receiving this video or even watching it on YouTube is smart enough to follow what I just said that um, uh, you know if you know that there's a security system set up let's just say it's our own US military they try to uh, they try to have invisible airplanes and so on if you figure out the security code as to how they cloaked it then you can penetrate it and see what's actually there and so that's where you get to being able to see what's actually on the moon so I haven't even looked at these videos yet um, they could be um, a dud, who knows, we'll see. But I'm putting this on public record, I'm sending it to people without having looked, uh, because I wanna lay my claim 
shall we say, to fame, right? Um, what I'm saying is, repeating Mr. Lear, that there are shopping malls on the moon. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> Rips, believe it or not, right? But don't forget me. I'm, you heard it from me, right? Crazy or true. Uh, shopping malls on the moon, <laughs> uh, 10 times better than any on Earth. And uh, so in the spirit of the humor, you can see I'm smiling. What I submit to you in Coral Gables, we have lots of developers, right? But uh, can you laugh along with me? Uh, you just, you're looking at the best developer of shopping malls Coral Gables has ever had. <laughs> right here, this guy, right here, right? Um, so let's go watch Bruce Cecil.